localizing the origin of ventricular tachycardia from a 12 lead ECG is a critical skill for planning ablation and identifying the underlying pathology. While many algorithms exist, a stepwise simplified approach focusing on the four directions of the heart is often the most practical. To find where the VT is coming from, think of the heart as a 3D box. You use different ECG leads to check left versus right, superior versus inferior and base versus apex. Step 1 left versus right based on lead V1. This is based on the bundle branch block morphology. LBBB pattern negative in V1. Origin is likely the right ventricle or the interventricular septum. RBBB pattern positive in V1. Origin is likely in the left ventricle. Step 2. Superior versus inferior from frontal axis and leads 2, 3 and AVF. Inferior axis positive in leads 2, 3 AVF as the impulse travels downwards so the origin is superior example outflow tract ventricular tachycardias superior axis negative in lead 2 3 avf the impulse travels upwards so the origin is inferior example the diaphragmatic wall step 3 base versus apex based on precordial transition Look at where the QRS flips from mostly negative to mostly positive. That is the transition lead. Early transition in V1 or V2, origin is basal, posterior part of the heart. Late transition in V4 to V6, origin is apical near the tip of the heart. And finally, step 4, septum versus free wall, based on QRS width and lead 1. Septal origin often has a narrower QRS because it accesses the conduction system faster. Free wall origin often has a wider QRS, more than 160 milliseconds, and specific polarity in lead 1. Positive in lead 1, likely to be septal. Negative in lead 1, likely to be lateral or free wall.